This activity is called Painting Boot Camp. Today you will learn four techniques that you will later be able to use in your own art. The first kind of paint that we're going to use is watercolor paint. When you use watercolor paint, you need to put water on each color to get it started. The first technique is color mixing. If you use watercolor paints from the art room, you'll notice that some of the colors are missing. That's because you need to make them. In this set, you're provided with the primary colors. The primary colors can make any other color. Also, there is no true red in this set of watercolors. That's because magenta used in place of red makes more vivid colors. Magenta is the color that's all the way on the right on the end. Using a pencil, draw a square, a plus sign, another square, an equal sign, and then another square. We're going to choose two of the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and mix them together and see what color they make. Take a little bit of the water in the, your paintbrush and put it in the mixing tray. Make a puddle of water. Choose your first color and get some of that color on the brush and fill in the first square with that color. The next part is very important. Rinse off your brush before you get the second color. Fill in the second box with your second color. Rinse off your brush again and get the first color and put that color in the puddle of water. The more paint that you add to the puddle of water, the more intense the color will be. Rinse off your brush again and then get the second color and put that in the puddle of water, mixing the two together. Use that new color to paint the last square that you drew. The next technique is a watercolor resist. We're going to do a texture rubbing with a crown using a texture rubbing plate. Then we will be painting over that with watercolor paint and the texture rubbing will show through the watercolor. Take a texture rubbing plate and put it underneath the paper. Then take a crown and do a texture rubbing. Press down with your hand so that the paper doesn't move around and press down with the side of the crown while you're coloring. Use your paintbrush to apply a layer of watercolor paint over top of the texture rubbing and you should see the texture rubbing show through. Tempera paint usually comes in a liquid form. These are tempera cakes, so they're kind of like watercolors, but they're opaque. That means you can't see through them as much as watercolor paints. They work the same way that watercolor paints work, so you have to put water on each of the colors to get them started. When you're doing a painting, sometimes black outlines really help your shapes stand out. So the next thing we're going to do is draw some shapes, any kind of shape that you would like, with a Sharpie. Then we're gonna use the temper cakes to add some color to our shapes. Sometimes it helps to blot your paintbrush on a paper towel before you start painting so that you don't have paint gushing all over the paper where you don't want it. Take your time as you fill in your shapes with color. The next thing we're going to do is create the look of texture by layering. Start by choosing a color and painting a random shape in an area on the paper. Do the same thing in a couple more areas with different colors. These areas of color should be large, so you shouldn't need more than four. The next thing we're gonna do is make some dots, dashes, lines, and patterns over top of these areas of color. Choose colors that will stand out against the base colors. So on this dark pink, I chose white because it's lighter and it will stand out. Experiment with mark making. Continue to add a different kind of texture on each area of color. Remember to choose colors that will stand out against your background. Each time you get a new color, you will need to rinse your brush off.